It's Shohei Otani, guys. 31st place votes, man. What's not to love about the two-way superstar for the LA Angels? He finished first in MVP voting in 2021, second place to some guy in 2022, and now he is back on board to reclaim what is rightfully his for this season. And when you look at the odds uh, on BetMGM, minus 110 to win AL MVP after what a one joke. month of the regular season. That price is outrageous. <laughs> now, for some perspective, he started the season. Joe Ostrowski, yes. <laughs> two to one. He was two to one to start the season, which was a joke. And the current price of minus 110 is also a joke. Um, <laughs> I think the voters just took the easy way out here. With a small sample size, they needed to come up with something. And like, okay, what at this point in the season, what's the easy thing to do? To, the easy thing to do is, is pick the guy that pitches and hits at a very high level. Like if we look at some of the numbers, I wouldn't tell you that he's the most valuable player. I'm sure Ed will find some, but not, not all do. What most of the voters end up looking at, they, as far as fan graphs, we're combining his hitting and pitching. He doesn't have the highest. It's Wander Franco. Wander Franco has the highest. So because of that, I guess I'm a little surprised. But I think what this is is the voters pay more attention to the odds than ever before. And then we've got a guy that does a little bit of everything. And um, so they're like, yeah, let's just, let's just go Otani. I don't think he's going to win it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. What? But, what? yeah, when you get a larger – they'll talk themselves into another position. I think it's going to be a Jokic situation very soon. If not this year, maybe next year, where people don't want to give it to him every year because what's the suspense in that? He didn't win it I understand your year. case. Well, I'm just, okay, he's going to have a handful of them, right? He'll have a couple very soon, right? You think yes. there won't be Otani fatigue? Yes, there will be. People Eventually, like to do something different. But it's not, it's not now. The, the fatigue isn't now. Like, I mean, Jokic was a was a two time deal, and then he was on the cusp of getting a third until like he played less, and Joel Embiid was finally healthy down the stretch of a regular season. That's that's not the right. situation here. This is this is Otani playing at a really high level all the way around, and he's continuing to improve. I mean, the fact that he's always doing something on the mound. Like, you know, now that we're classifying sweepers and, you know, sweeping sliders, and he's been throwing that this whole time, uh, that to me is just another sign that like he's, his game is continuing to evolve. He's constantly finding ways to improve. He's not just, you know, resting on his laurels that he's a really good pitcher and a really good hitter. No, he's, he's trying to find ways to be better, and that is what's making him, uh, you know, a real MVP threat. Here's my point on Otani moving forward. Now, I'll throw this into it, too. If we look at wins above replacement, whether it's fan graphs, baseball reference, whatever, we know the voters look at that stuff. If it is close with someone else, they will go with someone else. If there is a big gap, they'll go with Otani. That, that's what I think is going to happen. I, obviously, you disagree, but um, I think if, if Franco's above him or, or even at the end of the year, They'd be more likely to go with Franco because they know Otani's going to have a bunch of these in the coming years. But if that keeps happening, I... then he won't. Well, it won't. It won't keep happening. It's just not going to be possible for that to keep happening. I just think it's crazy to lay a minus money price and you don't even know if he will be in the American League. <laughs> Why would you well, even do that? Just even a minus money, uh, it's been uh, minus money most of the year. Like that's mm -hmm. where it's not a May thing. It was an April thing. I think that's the crazy part on any player. But does it give you value elsewhere? Like Franco leads the way, Fangraphs, War. He's 18 to 1. Chapman is up there as well, uh, 25 to 1. I don't know. Does, does it, is there value anywhere else on the board? At this point, I don't think so. I, I mean, as far yeah. as the straw poll is concerned, Franco uh, got three first-place votes, and so he's second as far as score is concerned. Matt Chapman, 
who we probably need to, to talk about a little bit more than we do. Uh, yeah, he's mm-hmm. cooled off uh, in May, but April was very, very good to him. Uh, so, you know, to me, his bat is something that we probably need to discuss a little bit more. But again, I, I don't like the value there. Rosarina, uh, fourth place. Mike Trout in fifth place. Yet he's the second shortest odds. I know. Uh, That's the biggest outrage to me is Mike yeah. Trout. Two votes for first place, and the dude is the second favorite? No, thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's just his name, Mike Trout. He's 10 to 1. Right. Uh, yeah. So Simeon's up there, but can, is Simeon going to win this award? He didn't receive votes in this poll, but I, I bring him up there because he's always pretty high in war, and he's 100 to 1. You could get Acuna at like plus 230 as opposed to minus money for uh, Otani. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's it is interesting that you know the roles are kind of reversed there where suddenly because the Braves are playing really well, that should give extra credence to, you know, Ronald Acuña's MVP potential. And to me that's preposterous. I mean, the Braves are there because of a complete team effort. Pitching is phenomenal. Other positions are phenomenal. And Acuña has played really 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 well. And yes, he should be the favorite. Not taking anything away from him there, but I mean, Mm -hmm. Pete Alonso, second shortest odds at eight to one. He's someone I was eyeballing at the start of the season. And yet in this straw poll, he's all the way, he's not even listed in the top five. He's not. Uh, That to me is surprising. Yeah. Yeah, That's shocking to me. Is it shocking? Uh, Others receiving votes. Yeah, you had to go outside the top five before we get to Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso is not, I have to look up his war numbers. He's not close to the top. Top is Sean Murphy. Mm -hmm. Fan graphs at 2.4, then Acuna at 2.0. Uh, Murphy is 25 to 1. Now, if you go B War, Acuna is number one. No, number two, Cody Bellinger. What? <laughs> <laughs> at, it's Acuna 2 2, Bellinger 2 0, and uh, Bellinger is 55 to 1. I look at this and I'm like, okay, there's value somewhere. But how far down the board do we go? Like there are names uh, that are near the top, I'd, that are top five in war in the National League that I would say most baseball fans don't even know, like Outman and Estrada, you know? So w- where are the names going to pop? Like, it does seem like this, this would be, of the two MVPs, this is the one, if I'm looking at taking some shots, that I would focus on because Acuna is beatable. Not that he's a bad player, not, like I said, not that he doesn't deserve to be the favorite. He does. But just like last year, this one early on seems wide open. 